Hello everyone, welcome to another fantasy match preview. This is for the game between Afghanistan and Ireland. Going to be a very important game for both teams, especially Ireland. They're coming off a high and they surely want to carry that momentum forward with them. This game is going to be at MCG and I have Nikhil Bhai with us today to carry you through the preview. Yes, thank you so much for having me. And uh, yes, some very good games happening. Uh, thankfully, not too much deviation from the normal. So, hope that continues for all of us. But yes, very important game for Ireland. Uh, because if it doesn't rain in the second game, mm. in this game, and Australia England goes the other way, Ireland could really have fun, you know, if England don't win. So, that could just mess the table a bit more. Let's see. Yes, a lot of uh, interesting prospects in store with this phase upcoming. So, let's look at the pitch conditions before we get to the base team. <laughs> so, this game is going to be happening at the MCG where we have seen mixed conditions. There has been first up when you speak about the rain, there is rain expected in the first game. There will be interruptions. It will again be on and off. So, no escape from that. But how, what do we conclude from that? That if the ball gets better, it's going to get difficult to turn which would mean some more troubles for Afghanistan because that is what their strength is and that is also what Ireland's weakness is. Yes, and these two sides have played each other often. So, they don't know each other's strengths and weakness, uh, having faced each other enough. So, short-term game, I don't know which team will have a benefit because both teams are very volatile and mm. they both use resources very uh, willful. Uh, you mm. will never be surprised or shocked by a sudden move. So, be very careful with your investment, especially with the rain around. You will not be sure that how much you can contribute. So, hmm. I think the moral will still be that form is not must be done. So, if you can figure a way to balance that out and invest, maybe okay. After the toss, then also it's fine. But uh, I'll say this game, maybe you can just give it more mini gels and grandage. Multiple combinations, please, try this game. Because we have batting force teams have one here. Uh, and Pacers have got more help. So, traditionally, Ireland might feel better with their pace pollution, but uh, Fazal and everybody can also contribute with the ball. So, it's going to be a very tricky game to call. Right, absolutely. And now that we are talking to you about multiple combinations, how do you make best use of multiple combinations by joining and using them in the leaderboard contest? Because there, you'll be able to also reap rewards for consistently making more teams and making good teams. <laughs> yes, and as we keep saying, because the base the base team is working for a lot of us, it's just even more beneficial that if you keep rotating players. Like, if you look at one game, if you have the Grand League picks, they have both of them. They have both of them. And you don't Grand League picks with 60, 70, 80, 90 points. Even smaller amounts, but well rotated, well disguised with other risks could give you handy benefits. So, multiple combinations in that game will be good in that game. Yes, so absolutely go download right now. The link yeah. is in the description. And let's look at our base team for this game. So, what is the base team we have in store for you for Afghanistan and Ireland? So, like you can see, we have backed some pacers and all-rounders. But let's look at the keeping and batting section first. We have gone with Lockin Tucker, Najibullah Zadran, Sterling, Balboni, and Ibrahim Zadran. Most of these picks are guys of people who are in form and are expected yeah. to do well at MCG with the big ground rotation of strike will be important. And most of them do that very well. <laughs> बिल्कुल और जैसे हम कहा ये गेम में आपको स्टेबल रिटर्न्स देने वाले काफी कम प्लेयर मिलेंगे सब आप ऐसे बोलोगे कि हायर इज हायर रिवॉर्डी है और इसीलिए हम आपको बोल रहे हैं ये गेम मल्टीपल कॉम्बिनेशंस के लिए बेटर है क्योंकि दो ओपनर हमने लिए है जो जिसमें से कौन कब चलेगा इट इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी अ टॉप ऑफ द पॉइंट नजीबुल्ला जादरन हैजंट हैड अ ग्रेट नॉक सो फार होपफुली ही कैन कम गुड इब्राहिम जादरन आई थिंक इज द वन गाय दैट आई एम पर्सनली वेरी बायस्ड टुवर्ड्स के he, he can give you a safe 30. So, hmm. that is cheese mele important hai se. And uh, yes, there are other options that we will discuss in the Grand League. 
Yes, absolutely. In the all-rounders, we have gone with Nabi and Curtis Camphor. Now, both of them, Camphor has not been bowling much lately, but we are expecting that usage to come about soon. And anyway, he's been in good form with the bat, so there's no real reason for you to leave him. Bilkul, or dekho Camphor Baba ka aisa hai na ki jab when you least expect him to do something, wo aake char ball mein char wicket leke jaate hai. He'll hit an incredible fifty. So that is the risk that it is with Camphor. And yahan pe the one way you could also look at this is now people like Mark Adair, they are also handy with the bat, but they're not used. तो सेकेंड इनिंग्स में यूजुअली मार्क अडेर डजेंट डू वेल सो अगर आप ऐसी बोलिंग अटैक प्लान कर रहे हो कि यू फील कि आयरलैंड की सेकेंड इनिंग्स में कुछ ही लिमिटेड सेट ऑफ बोलर्स विल टेक विकेट्स तो यू कैन टेक दैम सो मे बी यू कैन टेक अ गैर दिलानी फॉर अ मार्क अडेर इफ यू फील कि उसकी बैटिंग नहीं आएगी फर्स्ट इनिंग्स में और सेकेंड इनिंग्स में उनका रिकॉर्ड इतना अच्छा नहीं है इफ इट्स रिवर्स केस यू फील कि नहीं मार्क अडेर पहले बोलिंग करते हुए बोल्स द एंड ओवर्स तो यू कुड पोटेंशियली टेक अ फ्यू तो यू कैन स्वॉप योर कैप्टन विथ हिम इज वेल क्योंकि ही इज ऑल्सो गुड एट यू नो That was bowling, and he he can also chip in with wickets. Abhi ke liye camper ko visit karne ka karan sida ye hai ke he can contribute with the bat. And because we expect karna hai ke dono teams wickets lose karengi, isliye yeah. usko ek decent middle order option ki tarikhe se use kar. Yes, absolutely. We have lot of other options. You might have questions about Mujib. Yeah. You might have questions about Zazai <laughs> opening against Ireland. Mm-hmm. So we'll discuss all those options mm-hmm. for you in the Grand League section after we tell you our picks. And yes, before we get to the Grand League picks, keep in mind that the jersey giveaway is going to be in the England versus Australia video because that is a crazy cracking knockout game. So we thought we'll do it in that one. And apart from that, we'll also announce the winner in that video. So over to you, Nikhil. Why tell us your Grand League pick for this one? Uh, yes, like we said, the first pick in that section for me is Hasbulla Zai. He's loved playing Ireland. He's played some of his best knocks there. Does give hmm. an average of around 50 plus. So there is enough sample size to back him. But again, he's as good as I. He could play one ball. He could play 100 balls. That is the kind of player that he is. So hmm. proper Grand League section guy, perfect example. Have uh, so that is the pick from uh, Afghanistan. Ireland. If you look at it, as I said, their usage is very, very, very tricky. But uh, I do feel some something like an Harry Tactor is bound to come good once. I just don't mm. see him failing continuously. It's like maybe everybody else got a hit, but he got a block. So mm. again, I don't think not. I don't think many will back him. So if you back him and he's able to give it twenty thirty also, then also for you, the differential will be higher because not many people will try. So uh, and I think he can play spin okay. So he should not struggle as per me. But he's okay. Right, my two picks for this game: Mujibur Rahman from Afghanistan. Now, the reason we have not taken him in our base team is because he is not opening the bowling. But I feel like they will use him at some point in the power play because if it's not against these two guys, then it's going to get only more difficult in the middle order because Tector plays spin. Uh, I rate Tector as a better spin player, so. And you not want to bowl him there, and Tector mm-hmm. and him have past history with Barbados. They've played there together, so yeah. he has some wood over him. So I'm expecting Mujib to bowl in the power play tomorrow. And from Ireland, I think I'm going to go with Barry McCarthy. The reason for that is, even though he's out of form, he's generally someone who keeps hitting the deck, and that is uh, that is a length where Afghanistan tend to attack a lot. And when they attack a lot, even if he gives 50 runs and takes three wickets, I think the job could be done for us. बिल्कुल बिल्कुल ऐसे ऐसे इफ यू वांट एक बार जाके पिछले मैचेस देखना दोनों टीम्स के आपको कुछ और ऐसे डेफिनेट पैटर्न्स भी दिखेंगे बैटिंग फर्स्ट बोलिंग फर्स्ट तो शायद आपको वहाँ से थोड़े ज़्यादा आइडिया आ जाए पर ये गेम जैसे मैंने पहले भी कहा रीड रहे I personally don't think it's a safe game for small leagues. Hmm. Uh, वैसे भी बहुत बहुत कम गेम्स अब small league के लिए safe है. But I think this is the best game for Grand League and multiple combinations because the number of options that these teams have, uh, you may not miss somebody if there are multiple contributors. But ha, yeah, if this e- e- game it could easily go down to that if you have two players, then you will not be in the winning zone. So you will not want to get into that phase. So yes, multiple combinations I think are the way to go for this one. Right, absolutely. We hope all of you form a cracking team. And while there is no jersey giveaway in this video. 
you can tell us who you feel will win between Afghanistan and Ireland. Drop it in the comments. So we also get some hints from you. Thank you so much for tuning in and we hope that all of you have a great game. Yes, have a good game. Have a good game.